Caddis Maxis here, this time with the Joy Allen's JL249MS. So, took this as a promotional product, a free product for me to make a review video on. And by the way, I'm not an Amazon affiliate. I've never made any money off of any of those affiliate links, even from uh, Viver. Just that YouTube shopping uh, is the only one. Anyway, I figured I'd mention that. I think it keeps me, you know, I take free promotional products because I can't afford to <laughs> buy these things. But the fact that I'm not receiving any type of kickback or anything financial, besides some <laughs> minimal monetization of the video, uh, is why I take these products. Just to see how they are, how I like them. And this thing is, as we can see, uh, a pretty impressive one. I did do a review of a Viver one. And actually, I did a big unboxing. Let me do a kind of a fast forward of that here. All right, we're back again. I was way too blabby in my unboxing, so I just decided to fast forward it like that. Anyway, this thing's 200 bucks. The Viver was 150, so for dollar for dollar, you're getting quite a bit of value out of this. There's like a whole explosion of these electronic microscopes. This one has a lot of features like such as the panel can rotate uh, just as a huge. I mean, you can look at it from the top down or from the forward motion or the <laughs> vertical mode position god i can't even say the word really bright lights and various other things like a backlight for a slide it comes with three different lenses for three different this is really is designed more for electronics because we have these helping hands we have a sil silicone pad we have this whole plastic tray which has various little areas to hold stuff which i'll have to admit is uh, a nice touch but let me get it out of here because it's super bulky, but it just slides around the base. Anyway, the two claims of fame to this one, besides being much more electronically oriented, is it has this huge structure so it can be adjusted in a variety of ways. It has uh, this type of slide adjustment, it has a secondary adjustment. It's designed to have a huge amount of clearance so you can get a variety of electronic, electrical, and uh, anything else you really need under there. That's its first advantage. The second one is the fact that it will do 2.8K ultra high definition, so it's not true uh, 3840, but it is 2160p, so it does have high resolution. It has a 24 megapixel camera. Actually, if we go to its camera mode, And go down. There's a decent little menu system here. Go into the resolution and we can see 24 megapixels there. The big issue I have with this is it doesn't remember the settings. Um, so every time you turn it on it always resets and they do need to fix that. Some of the, I think it was originally designed to have a battery but they got rid of that so what it has is this kind of special controller down here and this is how it turns on and off and it has a spaghetti one to drive the screen one to drive the lights since it uses a, a power separate power plug you either use the backlight or you use these forward lights but you can't actually use them both at the same time but one of the advantages is it has these big replaceable lenses and so it has this lens which is like 700 times magnification I'm sorry, this is the 240 times magnification lens. This is just designed to have a good depth of the field from about 4 inches through about 12 inches. The thing about microscopes is the more you zoom in, the more magnification you get, the flatter the object needs to be because it only has, it can only focus on a fine plane. And so it has, this has a couple different lenses. This one 
as well as this one, which offers just a, you can get a little bit closer with it, but also has a wide focal range. This is designed to be quite a ways away so that you have clearance. And so this is actually 240 times. This is the 700 times. And then it has a one designed for, I guess, more microscope work. And because it's a high magnification 2000 times lens, it only has one millimeter of focal distance. All these lenses, as you see, are, have, are coated, and I think that's just to prevent internal reflections. So this is a microscope calibration ruler. That's just no digital zoom. This is, yeah, there we go. No digital zoom. That's with the first lens. It's a little funky to change them, but they are secure. They have these little brass inserts, and you have these little thumb screws that lock it in. It has a couple little flats so it stays aligned. Here's a second lens, and the deal with this second lens, as we can see, that can focus from way farther away. So even though this looks smaller, the deal with this lens is the fact that it has a massive focal range. We can see how close we are. And so that's the big advantage to this is you can get really close or really far. It's like a more of a universal. Uh, I will say that it has uh, a pretty fast update on the screen, which is also pretty nice. And which is pretty stand with what is pretty standard with a lot of these, and particularly this one, uh, is HDMI. So this one actually came with a HDMI cable so that you can you know, just hook it right up to your TV or a computer monitor and get a really big screen. And this Joy Allen's, you know, for what you're getting for the price, I mean, all this structure here with all the you know, this thing is a tool holder here. They have uh, various little, like, lock rings. So when you loosen up the microscope head from the main column, you can make sure it doesn't accidentally drop all the way down. and can go in and out. This column can actually tilt back and forth. So you just have a huge range of motion. I kind of like the tool holder design so you can take and put rope spools of solder on there. Really, just an overall interesting design. And even this crossbar can be rotated around in case you want it to hold a, help hold a piece of wire in addition to the helping hands. Uh, nice little features on the helping hands. They put a ferro rule on there so this thumb screw doesn't uh, cause them to get dented in and warped like it has, like with basic helping hands. Other than that, uh, not a lot else to say. It's just one of these more improved versions that's more designed for repairing cell phones and laptops and soldering than the more general purpose Viva one. Although I like the compact nature and the easy ease of use of the Viva unit, where these offer obviously much better magnification uh, because they have interchangeable lenses, but that adds additional complexity. And due to how bulky it is, it's not really designed to be moved around, particularly because it's not battery powered. Silicone, you know, protective mat to prevent things from slipping around too much. Once again, really bright lights, more than bright enough for anything that you might need. And as I said, I think the biggest issues, besides it not saving its settings when it turns on and off annoyingly, um, is the fact that it's a little bit, if you change lenses and need to adjust stuff, you do have to fiddle around a bunch with these thumb screws, but they are pretty nice little thumb screws that are metal and they even have little plastic inserts in them. God, my phone wouldn't focus on that. There we go. They're pretty nice little thumb screws. And overall, I think it's an interesting product. I'll have a link down in the description. And I think for someone like me, uh, it just has a little bit too much going on. By, but for a lot of people, uh, I think these things are pretty amazing. You get great video quality and um, a lot of versatility. And if you're doing a lot of repairs or working on jewelry or something like that, uh, these things are pretty neat and you're getting a lot you know for 200 bucks is a bit of money but a lot of these start getting really expensive and for all the stuff that you get i think it's overall not too bad anyway thanks for watching